I was uh, honoured when Upbeat asked me to create a piece of artwork to mark their 15th anniversary um, because they're doing great work uh, helping refugees and asylum seekers to rebuild their lives um, and some of whom I've had the privilege to get to know a little. So I wanted to create something which would be um, a little bit visually disturbing uh, but hopefully in a good way to shake us up a bit from the relatively comfortable lives that we probably all lead. Um, so I've called this piece no pleasure cruise um, and actually made up this representative group of humanity on the boat here um, entirely from fragments of pleasure cruise brochures not because I've got anything particularly against pleasure cruises um, but because of the irony that this really is no pleasure cruise there's such a contrast um, in the lives that these people are experiencing um, many of these people will have spent perhaps thousands of dollars, maybe their last, um, after having travelled thousands of miles, even to get to this point, to be crammed onto this giant inflatable shaped like a boat, uh, which is probably better suited to a children's garden party. Um, and just hoping that the distant blue sky really does herald a better future for them. Uh, but will it? <laughs> There's no guarantee. I mean, a storm might brew up and uh, waves might engulf the boat, like sadly far too many before them. Um, so I have to say there were times when I was angry when I was working on this. I, I felt quite passionate about it really and, and saddened um, that we live in a world where there can be such brutality that people are prepared to risk their lives um, in this sort of way. Um, but I also, I'm also really grateful for people like Upbeat um, who are doing such a great work, um, motivated by a God of love who I also believe in um, and who I believe specialises in taking shattered lives and making them new again. So um, it's been a pleasure to create this piece and um, yeah, upbeat, happy 15th birthday.